So the thing is, um, I haven't really got very much battery time, which is probably a good thing, because, you know, I could talk for hours. Uh, it's the end of your country needs you, and I'm, I'm not going to do this in the morning. I have for a couple of years done this sort of video thing in the morning. Frankly, I can't be asked. Uh, I've worked very hard during the week, and um, I want to have a weekend. I've got a very exciting DVD to watch, so I figure I'll do it now. There's not very much time left. Um, I have just watched Your Country Needs You, presented by Graham Norton. It was uh, broadcast live from BBC Television Centre this evening. Here is your update. Um, I have taken copious notes during the evening. Here they are. They begin here. Um, we go on to here uh, and here. Here. Went on quite a bit. Here and here and finally here. Um, here are the headlines. I don't like the song. My God. If I never hear the song... Um, Well, you know, that would be quite good. If I, you know, if I didn't hear it, it would be quite good. Um, uh, I did quite like, well, let's just go through it. Let's just go through it. Karen, sorry, love, that wasn't going to happen. Alexis, uh, well, he's very like Alexander Reback, Ryback, whatever his name is. He sang for Norway last year and he won. Um, uh, he seemed quite good. He lifted my mood. Uni 5, I wasn't entirely sure to begin with. They seemed a little bit play school. Um, but after a while, uh, I liked them. I particularly liked the fact that BBC had apparently cobbled them together. I thought that was very good. Esma, yeah. Um, she needs to work on the top notes. That's what I wrote. Josh said that he had a girlfriend. That did... I wasn't, I wasn't really sure whether someone with a girlfriend should participate in, in Eurovision. Because, you know, Eurovision is a gay thing. At least it is for, for me. Sorry. You know, I don't want to exclude you. I mean, in a sense, he is. Um, wasn't sure about Jade. Uh, Misfits. Uh, there's a family Eurovision connection. One of the singers, her father, used to present the votes. I mean, sorry, that that is quite strong. That's quite a strong thing. I was quite impressed by that. But um, they were a, they're a bit boring. The medley. I'm not entirely sure why we had a medley of songs. I wanted Unified to go through. They seemed quite perky. I wanted the solo bloke that wasn't Josh to go through. What I didn't want was Misfits, and certainly didn't want Karen. Sorry, Karen. I'm sure you're very nice. Uh, Josh struck me as looking a bit like a farm hand during the medley section. Uni5, in the final analysis, were the least offensive. Unfortunately, Uni5 weren't selected by Pete Waterman. What the bloody hell does he know? Um, Alexis, she was still more annoying. Uh, this is when we, we heard the song for the first time. To begin with, I actually said that I was liking the song. Liking the song, liking it well done, nice. Uh, I thought the lyrics were awful. I still think the lyrics are awful, but it seemed quite perky at that point. Esma said that she loved music. That wasn't really enough for me. Um, apparently, she forget, uh, forgot her lines while she sang it. If Frankly, if she forgot her lines, uh, then she's a twerp. If she did it because if she forgot her lines because she was told to forget her lines, then she wants to start putting her foot down, frankly, because it didn't look very convincing on television. Sorry, but really, I mean, God. Either way, I'm prepared to lodge a formal complaint with the BBC Trust. Um, Josh, you know, second time around singing singing the Eurovision song for the UK, which third time around I really was growing to dislike. Um, I wrote that I was really sick of the laser. I wasn't entirely convinced that Josh actually shaves. Um, and let's be absolutely clear, he certainly can't dance. Um, and actually, by this stage, I hated the song. Here it is, look, I hate the song. Uh, we, we, we deserve to come last. We deserve to come last. Goodness me, I'm a twat. Bloody Eurovision, I hate it. You know, in the spirit of transparency, I figure this is quite important. Uh, Mike Stock, when he spoke for the first time, he strikes me as a very strange man. Um, advert for the website. Um, I ended up voting for Alexis. Uh, well, I, maybe I've got a bit confused, but basically these are all the notes. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not correct. Oh, no, that's right. 
Yes, that's when that's when the three of them sang the song. I am right. Bear with me. It's worth it in the end. Um, I ended up wanting to vote for Alex. Um, Alex, I didn't really want to speak. I just wanted him to sing. He seemed the most able performer. Esma, I didn't have any notes on Esma. Sorry, Esma. Josh, he seems very sweet, but frankly, sweetness plus that song by Pete Waterman, that's not going to win Eurovision. So as far as I'm concerned, Josh is the one to go. Uh, Sugar Babes, and they needn't have bothered. Um, I couldn't find the telephone numbers when I looked on the web. I unfortunately didn't write them down. So in a sense, I don't really have the opportunity to complain about the selection of the song because I didn't vote. Um, I just would have liked to have seen the numbers a bit more. Um, I quite like the clip sequence. I was getting a bit tired. Um, Alexander Reback, Ryback, whatever the hell his name is, he came on. The dancers look particularly tired. Um, but Simon and I had a slight disagreement over the voting. And then, who was it who won? Josh. Josh won 